Last topic of the day, we talking about phones, right? So, phones, we got kids got phones. We got phones causing problems in relationships. We got people, motherfuckers hating on phones. Like, we shitting on people who use Galaxies and, and Androids. And then we got the the overhype. The overhypeness of iPhones, you know right. what I'm saying? We got one fucking iPhone, fuck your phone up if you don't get an update or you don't get the new phone, all that type of shit. It's so, ridiculous to me though. I, I mean, know. to each his own. Yeah, bro, what is the? Okay, so I mean, I'm gonna roll with. How the... you start it off? Right, exactly. I dumped the car. You know? Man, go on, man. Though my big things with phones is this: so we we talk about phones, we talk about social media. You know what I'm saying? We being in the education field. I get, a, I have a lot of conversation about phones when it comes to whether kid, like kids, spending too much time on phones, social media, um, even tablets, just playing games on phones, things like that. A lot of people have problems with kids having phones and spending too much time on. Um, I personally feel the opposite. You know, um, most of the people who I, most of the teachers that I come in contact with, that I teach with. They're a lot older, so it's like I'm caught between two generations. I'm right between where they are and where the kids are. You know what I'm saying? So I grew up, I grew into social media because that shit came out when we was in high school. They never had it, so they don't even know how to use the shit. And then we got the little kids that's born into it, so they can't live without it. You know what I'm saying? So we perfectly in the middle of two generations where we, we, we adapt to it, but we can live without it. You know what I'm saying? I think that kids need, need phones because that's going to be their world. You know, so if you got a kid that's in, in first grade right now, they're going to be a uh, class of 2033 in college. And in 2033, we don't know, like, that's what, 14 years from now? So imagine all the technology we had in the last 10 years, what the technology going to look like then. So they they need to be on these phones. They need to know how to navigate the world they're going to be living in. But on top of that, you got people, when I was a kid, my cousin used to go door to door selling cakes. And that's how she made her money. Now, you get a motherfucking Instagram, you can be selling cakes across the country, and your next little neighbor don't know what the fuck you do or how you get money. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, it's so many opportunities that come with this social media shit that the kids is, is, is um, getting a hold of. I got a, a homie who's saying his daughter, she's like a third grader who know how to edit videos because she spent so much time on the computer. So, that's a career. You know what I'm saying? And she in third grade. So... That's the world they living in. They need to live in that world and be in that world. And we shouldn't stop that by trying to force them to live in our world. Like, I'll put down the phone and pick up a real book. No, they can use the audio book. They can read a book on the phone because that's the world they're going to be living in. I'm going to piggyback off that, T. Because my son, he is six years old, first grade. And he will put down his phone in a second to read. But you know how smart my son is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This man is like one of the smartest kids I know. He will put that phone down. Although, don't get me wrong, he's still a kid that do the YouTube thing. So he on his phone all day, all night, I promise you. But all the kids on their phones, on their tablets, iPads, everything, he will put the book down. and I mean, he will put the phone down and pick up his book. So... I'm going to also piggyback off him saying that it's okay for the kids to have their phone. I know some people that, that would be older than us wouldn't agree with that, but kids in our day and age right now, they kind of need phones, you know what I'm saying, more than we would have when we were younger because, I mean, I'm, I just want to throw it out there, like kind of relationships didn't work so good, so... You know, mom and dad not communicating so well, so you get your kid a phone so that they can communicate with either the mother or the father. You know what I'm saying? In my case, I need my son to communicate with me because we can't get along that well. You know what I'm saying? I have a good mother of my child. You know, she's great, but we just don't communicate that well. So the communication is between me and my son with his phone. So he needs a phone. He's very responsible with his phone. He had it for like two years bro never lost his phone he hadn't broken it anything you know what i'm saying only thing i gotta work on with him though is him calling more because he will throw that phone down and get off so you know what i'm saying like we both trying to work on work with him as far as like hey call your dad hey call your mom you know what i'm saying so now he like okay i'll call you know he called me sometimes hey dad what you doing Woo -woo. Which is cool. So, I mean, I 100% agree with the kids having their phone nowadays. You know you what I'm saying? You have to worry about what he might be looking at on the phone, though. I how do. Deal with that? And I'm a concerned parent. And I go through his phone and I look at it. I've seen things that I didn't agree with. 
with his other little kids that have phones, they kind of saying, because my son can text, you know what I'm saying? His friends can text. So I saw them kind of saying some mean things to each other. I grabbed his phone, I brought it to him, and I told him, like, that's real good. That was a real good question. I brought it to him. I explained to him, listen, we don't do this. You don't talk to her like that. She doesn't talk to you like that. I spoke to my friend, and she spoke to her daughter, and it was cool. Another thing, I have a friend. Her daughter is like, she's like eight, and she's making those little videos. You know what I'm saying? What's the name of that new app out? When they dance. Have a they dancing and, and all that type of stuff. I've seen a lot of uh, young thrill, kids okay. doing that. What is yeah. it? Yeah. Thriller? Thriller's yeah. one of them. I don't agree with it. And I told her, I even spoke with my friend's daughter about it. And I told her, this song right here is not for kids. I don't want you. Wait, and the Tatiana song? It wasn't the Tatiana song, but it was like, it was that, it was that Lil Durk song. Gas in the air, you know, you bad or what? That song right there. Yeah. And she was just doing all of that with her pants and stuff. And I just didn't agree with that. I feel like you a little lady and we gonna raise you up to be a little lady. So, I mean, we do absolutely I'm agreeing with the kids having their phones, but we absolutely have to monitor what they're doing. So, mm -hmm. if you do choose to have your kids to have a phone, please just monitor what they're doing. That's all I have to say. Like, I agree with it. Just monitor it. Uh, to piggyback off of it, um, honestly, technology and phones right now is a gift and a curse. Mm. Um, it's a gift because a lot of people are now... In tune with things that uh, wasn't soaring and making money, you know, back then. Back then, you were looked at as you either gotta, you know, be a ball player or a rapper or something in the athletic sport to come up with some money real quick. But now, the way social media is and the internet is, you can literally just post a video of you combing your hair and you get paid, you mm. know. So, one thing that is a gift to, you know, having phones is that there, there are no limits nowadays with these phones. These phones can do an entire research paper for you. You can contact people from across the world. Um, you can purchase things. You can, you can maintain a job on your phone without even ever having to meet your company in person. What about the it's, different types of phones? However, um, another thing with the phones is, and the, also the different types of phones, um, is, is how, intel how, how, how intelligent the security is on it. You now have phones that will only identify your fingerprint or your face, you know, just to, just to you know, give you that clearance to, yes, you are who you say you are. You know, it could, it could be almost like, a, you know, from some of my, uh, my readers out there, you know, the George Orwell 1984 book, the, the Big Brother thing, you know, it's, it's given this device that much sensitive information about you. Phones are saving lives now. People are tracking their health through their phones, and if they see they, they blood pressure too high, they're going to check themselves in the hospital. Hey, you know what? I'm glad you checked yourself in because you almost would have had a heart attack had you not came 30 minutes ago. You would have been out on the floor. It's, it's just, it's just, it's, it's also a curse because it's, it's slowly and rapidly, it actually, it's rapidly taken away from a lot of human interaction. A lot of human interaction. And just to, just to give you a different aspect on parents and technology is a lot of parents are just relying on, let me give my baby this iPad and they don't figure it out. True. Which is, which is, which is fine. Because guess what? You challenging their mindset. Yes, you are getting them ready for, you know, the, the technology intelligence that's going to that's gonna hit them. By the time they're they're our age or by the time they're, they're, they're 10, 11, 12 years old, you are getting them ready for that. But it's also taken away from some human relationships and some human interactions that we fail to respect. It could be a, a, a family reunion. And I guarantee almost everybody on their phone. But the vision too. A lot of kids Everyone's on their phones. Glasses. A lot of kids going to be wearing glasses. I, 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 I admit, I'll be chilling in a room with my mom, my dad, my brothers. One thing we like to do, we like to watch movies. Movie night is really big for us. My dad gets 
has movies that could cover this entire wall and maybe the floor. He had collects so many movies. So movie night is big for us and it's five of us. And four out of the five of us are on our phones. It's like we, hey, hey, and we out. hum what you say, hum yeah. what you say, or let me post that. Like, you and your phone for even at dinner, time. it's, it's just taken away from those five relationships. Five you on your phone for a while, I try to watch TV for my five dishes or read something on the television for my yeah. five dishes. That's that's yeah, that's good. I, I like that. Like yeah. it takes away from so I, much though, man. I, I, the, well, I think that uh like I seen my little cousin one time, he, we in the mall, uh, we in the little shoe store or whatnot, and he see a chick, he go over to her, you know, he she, you know, his age or whatever, he go over to her and uh he he basically tell me he finna shoot. Well, I'm, I'm encouraging him to shoot. Like, you know, really, I'm encouraging him to shoot. Like, go shoot, you know what I'm mean? saying? So he go over to her and um, he like, hey, what's up? What's your Snapchat? He do the little phone thing, get a Snapchat, and walk off and start texting her. But we still, he started texting her on Snapchat, but we still in the store. She right there, he right here. But now they talking on Snap. But I'm like, why you ain't talking to her, showing some personality right now, talking to that person? They don't do that though. What she but said, that's what she taking away the human interaction. I, I they don't, they don't I do that no game, more. I, and from our parents' dating game, like our parents' dating game, be like, man, I, and maybe a few no of our, a few of ours could be like, I was in third grade, so I stayed there by the house phone, and I waited for her to call me. You remember the house phone? That Seriously. was one phone. Jeez. That was one phone with that long ass cord. Bro. Okay, or you have to make your way to be by the house oh phone when you get that God. phone call. Bro. You, you know, imagine? it was a different type of anticipation and effort back then. Now, a lot of days, our initiations to our relationships, we're going to be telling our kids, so oh, that's slid in the DMs. Right, right. <laughs> nah, G. She had to be so easy. Like, if you could imagine. If you like, had an ice cream parlor? No. That bitch was looking bad on Instagram. I did 10 likes in five seconds. You teach them how to finesse, though. So, yeah. Really? No, it's a call. I'll leave you with it. I'm speaking of that. It really teach them how to do but that's undisguised. Yeah. You gotta show your face. You can just talk how you talk if you in the mirror looking at yourself. Yeah. Like on some shy shit. Right. It, it yeah. changes the Hey, life. Terry, speak on yeah. that real quick. No, hey, this like, real quick. Because this you know, heat right here. Imagine if your girl could only contact you if you was at home, how easy it would be to cheat. Hey, you real quick, though, like, bro. That's all she can do. She can't FaceTime you to see where you at. What? She can't, none of that shit. She say, man, she be pissed at The dog in him. And here I am saying. Sorry, females. I'm an emotional creature. But here I am talking about the anticipation. Like, but he don't know. He think about cheating, and I'm just like, he just said. Oh, hypothetically speaking, that's what I'm saying. That's what you into. Motherfuckers don't know it's a right. simple person. They say everybody got to be a dog, man. It's but that's up. what you into. I'm just saying, like, if you want to see, right. back then it had to be easy as hell, though. It had to be. It had to be super easy. Look. That's why a lot of us got like what? ten kids. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And but look, one of us crazy. But wait, one of us crazy. Kids. They never knew about the other woman though. Like, yeah. look, your dad got a kid that stay all the way in Arizona. Your mama never knew about this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Wow, bro. That's why people is having sex with a lot of their family members because they don't know. Wow. Get y'all shit together. <laughs> Yeah. Knock that shit out right now. You right though. Hey, listen, listen. Yeah, they never knew. Fantasy. They never knew, bro. Yeah. Let me run to the payphone yeah. real quick so I can call Tyrone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> listen. Not, not knowing you can just pick up that app on the call. Tyrone, listen. Yeah. You can call Tyrone, Terry, Asia, Malcolm, William, and we can all be on FaceTime together. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 took, it took a lot of niggas off the corner. Like, you used to have to stand, on, stand outside to sell exactly. drugs. Exactly. Now you, you can put that stand outside to sell drugs. No more. You can make bread off the phone. Right. This is true. What my, what, my, what my boy um, Kevin Gay said, he got two phones, bro. Man, <laughs> sweet. Yeah, it's too sweet. But then again, it, it's it's a lot hard to be like committed, or even to have your ego reduced to be committed um, because of phone. So it's just like you got so social media. Like you you used to couldn't you wouldn't the only time you saw an attractive woman that you had access to is if you went outside right. and went somewhere where attractive women are. Now attractive women is in the palm of your hand oh, that you God. literally can have access to at any time. It's thousands. Let it's me speak thousands. on that. You never lose contact with your ex. Let me tell you like, something. I got a friend. I got a friend. You know what that is? You finna be about to be 
Right. Yeah. So listen, I got a friend, bro. He will only talk to a female via social media. I'm not gonna say that friend's name. Right. And I love you, bro. I know you're gonna watch this. Him. He likes listen, catfish. Listen, he only talked via social media. I wanna see her in person, cause to be honest, y'all, to be honest, a lot of females look totally different, different off of in social, person, media. In social media. Also, they, 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 they give me the they, 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 they took 27 so, the best one. No, wait, <laughs> beyond that. Beyond like, that, it'd be the light end. Fuck you talking whatever, about. Whatever, whatever. Like, just like y'all. Listen, like, no, bro, give me like this. No, I look, look like this, bro. Beyond bro. that. Y'all know them niggas. I got this little thing that I got going on right now, right? Yeah, I know. Say, for instance, on Facebook, <laughs> that profile picture, she be light-skinned and so fine. You keep scrolling. In actuality, she's dark-skinned with a lot of bumps mm. on her face. Like, I'm just like... Baby, that pro. Why is that profile picture so know, beautiful though? I, I keep going this and like, your face tough. Uh, I just want to. I got a lot of tough faces. Uh, how was niggas getting caught cheating in the nineties, bro? They didn't. Because if, if it went for a phone, yeah. I would have been scot free every time, bro. Well, I. They had to be nah, experts at working the room. room. That's what they had it. was working the room in the nineties. You had to work the room for your females in the same spot. They like they had a cell phone to tell you this where I'm gonna be at. That's where I'm going. How you know? I'm just saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all seen house party and shit. You gotta work the room. How to be a player? My nigga Bill Bellamy. Guess what? Guess Top what? 10, Guess what? Hey, he was what? cold. My I, man worked the room. I didn't see him. He worked the whole party. I haven't seen nobody do a better. He worked the party. It's definitely Who did it better than Bill Bellamy? I can find myself on the back. Right. <laughs> Come on, man. I ain't gonna put he won't fill up. Yeah. Uh, okay, look. I'm gonna give it to Watch out, Terry. I can you get yourself in some trouble, bro. You get yourself in trouble. And then the cell phones was I'm big ass. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, man, we should go yeah, back to the page of days, though. They should start. They, I mean, Apple should come out with a page or something, man. Yeah. Like, come out with a page. Like, yeah, yeah, just come out with a page. That's an enhanced text message. It ain't the code. It's whatever. Exactly what the fuck I'm saying. Hey, who do you need to hear it from? Hey, question. Question, y'all. Why did they get rid of pay phones? What was the use for them? Everybody got phones in their pocket. They even provided government phones. Yeah, I mean, pay phones was big, man. Yeah. Pay phones was big. I can't find a pay phone nowhere. Hey, the only place you'll find a pay phone really is probably in the county. Not to say I've ever been there. (laughs) <laughs> Shout out to everybody and you know if you got somebody they got somebody that's sent out. Right. Free down. Yeah. And I know that's what you screaming. We, <laughs> we feel it, you know. So depending on what they did, I just depending. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, I ain't seeing free yeah. to anybody. Yeah, anyway, oh. Um, these phones, they just it's it's a lot. It's a lot. It affects relationships. It can affect your health. It can affect your mental, your vision. Definitely. Your social, your social life. Social skills. You don't social have social skills, skills anymore. Cause you a thug behind that motherfucking Twitter page or that keyboard. You such a thug. In real life, you get knocked out like your daddy. You, cr- you, you strong to act. <laughs> you strong to act, motherfucker. But you ain't a motherfucker. Right. Man. That's another thing in schools I Get seen though. Like I seen uh, you know, I had a kid transfer in to my school in seventh grade. And when they the kids was telling me, I got an email saying the kids, I'm like, Y'all know y'all got a kid finna transfer in when they like, Oh yeah, we been doing how y'all know. Like shit, she uh she followed she typed in she said she's typed in the school name and followed all of us on Instagram. Wow. So we've been talking to her for a month. So she get to the school her first day, she ain't gotta make friends. No everybody. She, she know everybody she's six, seven, eight grade. Like, she know the whole school. What, she, what, what she do, ladies? She lies your resources. She talking about ladies. She wanna take it on to the ladies though. He was it's speaking this general. Talking about kids. <laughs> <laughs> I was just it, it's a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's, wait, it's, wait. It's just a, I mean, just to hop on that for a second. So, I mean, do we go off of those international days? Because of, like, low-key, like, three days ago, it was, like, international whole day. So, I mean, did they broadcast that? Three days that? is international holiday? Yeah. Yeah, it was like, so, yeah, it, look it up in your phone. It was, like, three days ago, it was, like, international holiday. That's right. Amber, <laughs> Amber Rose, man, that's true. <laughs> and you know what? She did. She did. She started that whole walk. Right, she yeah. How do you feel about this whole walk? This, the, I'm, a oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I've been drinking. Is it okay for women to enter and embrace walk. your inner home? Excuse me, <laughs> the slut walk. Um, 
I mean, to each his own. Uh, women should be just as uh, powerful when it comes to the sexuality. Hey, Terry, you know what I was just waiting on her to say? As a single woman. <laughs> no, generally, single relationship. Um, so it's crazy. <laughs> Women, we gotta be just as confident as men are in their sexuality. Like, yeah, you know. We definitely should be. We definitely should be. And you're Definitely skin. should be. And you're skin. Because, you know, guess what, ladies? We are better. The who? The male counterpart. We the ticket. We the Y'all trophy. not the ticket. We the trophy. Listen. Y'all not the ticket. I'm not listening to Look at one this. of them. Check I'm this talking out. about human beings. We the goose. <laughs> we the goose that lay these eggs. Okay. At the end of the day. You feel me? Right, right, right. But, with, but without that man. You single? Yeah! I'm going to go there. Yes. That's the only defense. Yes. Without that man. But yeah, without cool. that man. Yeah, cool. yeah, cool. But if you really want to go there, you got the virgin man. Single women got all it. the answers except for that. That was it. That was you it. know what other my dad Jesus, always told me? Other than you Jesus. Never listen to other a than Jesus person. Christ. <laughs> other than Jesus Christ or neck and neck with Jesus Christ. Shit, God is a woman. I'm just gonna say that. Ooh, like, we, 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 I would agree with that real quick. Yeah. Can I, I ask you though? Which is why? Ooh, which is why this? Which is why? Sense. Which is why this? Um, this this International Women's Day is important. Mm -hmm. Slut walk is important. Uh, the Slut lesbian walk is lesbian important. walk not, is important. I'm not either that. way, either way, all I'm saying is, is giving women that power and that opportunity. Okay. To speak up for themselves for so long in many generations, women are taught to wash do dishes, like do women, chores, do cook, like women clean. Are it's not fresh out the womb culturally or or from a societal aspect that women are jumping straight into trucks and owning a business and being a sole breadwinner or you know what I mean. Like it's always been mass that way for Terry, many years, I but now, but now it's different. Some of the most powerful people in our country are women now. Yes, we finna run this yeah, country. Too, too, women have never been so strong in politics. Kind of it's what crazy. Do you think about Roseanne? Did you hear this little statement Roseanne made? She said she's she racist. She's about the two women running for uh mm -hmm. for, for the presidency, mm -hmm. and she said she's against it because they she, let a woman run for presidency. They gonna mess up because women are crazy. That's somebody who How only that's that? somebody who only seen herself for what they told her she could be. Right. You don't, you don't think she you, decided you to be that grasshopper who I, got I, the I lid put on her, who jumped so many times, and when that lid was off, she didn't even I give a fuck no more. She said, "You know what? I it's been better to me. I gotta I be systematically oppressed, said, being a woman, so I'ma stay in my lane and be a woman." That's feel, her. That's her. Said, That's I her damn body bag. If a woman kind of run the world, woman runs the world. Yeah, women act off emotion. True, but look how this country has been ran with all men. Look at how the country has been ran with all men. I'll give you that. Like with men. all I men. Been, I haven't been, how are we going to compare the woman's sex to politics or anything around the country, country if it never happened? It's been all time. men. I think they should give a woman it's, all, it's been all men. She said it's been and guess all what? Women, Black people are still oppressed. Women are still oppressed. Minorities are still oppressed. That's my question. Men ran the whole country the whole time. That's my question. Do you think that women. To do what? I, I what you said. You don't know. You don't know. Give don't know. us that chance. You don't know what. That's it ain't never been challenged before. What do you think a woman can get done that a white man and a black man haven't already tried to get done? I don't know, but it's going to be whatever. It, it, it may be from any different type of aspect. Flowers. But I'm going to say flowers. <laughs> I'm not, it's going to be a lot of will. Because behind a woman is will. Women will get it done. Oh, you feel me? And without a doubt, please let me speak on that. I give it to women. Women are very strong, bro. And sometimes I believe the majority of women may be stronger than some men, bro. Because what we will give up on, they can't. They don't even have the option to give up on. You know what I'm saying? For instance, kids. Right. We can go to New Mexico. But that woman, she had to stay and raise that kid to her best ability, bro. Like women, some women are strong. Kids. Some women, yeah, like, some not, women not, are not I'm just using kids as an example, bro. Women but women are not to do that, bro. Yeah. If your girl walked out on you and little Chris tomorrow, guess what? You will be that woman. It's just what men do. Women right. just don't walk out. That's all. They don't. That's yeah. all. They women, don't. women are strong. That's they are. Behind that woman, but, it's a will. Out, so whatever comes with, whatever woman runs the country. She gonna stand firm behind. Right. Right. 
But time I look though, so I do agree with the guy that's going to say. But do you feel like women are the most oppressed people yes. in America? Yes. Yes. Do you feel like yes. women are the most oppressed? We still yeah, combat yeah, people pay. Yeah, you feel like what? You know who the most oppressed? Like, the the the, the like credentials of education. Like, man, you know who the most oppressed pe- person in America is? Who? A black man, a, a male stripper. Oh shit! Come on, man. <laughs> Where you going? Hey, you want to say that for the next one, bro? <laughs> Say, I think we should say that one for the next. Yeah, let's say that one, bro. Nobody fucks with male strippers. Nobody fucks with male strippers. Bro, you were going to see a male stripper? Ain't no nigga going to see no male stripper. This is the most oppressed people. Women don't even fuck with male strippers. Hey, the only male stripper I'm going to see is my man. And even then, I'm going to make your nigga. Hold up. Hold up. Let me finish. Let me finish. Only, listen, I'm not, y'all don't even, y'all just. Y'all, you know what? You know what? That goes to show men don't listen. <laughs> That's gonna be another one. Wait, and that Hold up. need to be another one. Though. Hold up. I just learned how to listen. Exactly. Listen, I didn't know this how to listen. Myself. I didn't know how to listen. I just learned how to listen, bro. Nah, but like I was Real saying, though, but like I was saying. Like I was saying, like the, that whole male strip stuff. Hey y'all, Tia, your life is a Tia, you got a sad life, y'all. <laughs> like that's the that's the only man I'm willing to see strip is my man, and he gotta be nigga taking be off his clothes to do this motherfucker, or taking off his clothes, go to bed and wash his ass. Either yeah. way, and nine times out of ten, I'm helping him take it off. Now? I thought you was a single. Woman. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm, I'm helping him take it off. So. And I'm helping him take it off, so. You know who the most privileged person in the world is? What? 50 Cent. Because there ain't no black man able to say the shit he say on Instagram and still get a movie deal. That nigga would have been, any any other nigga would have been canceled doing the shit 50 was doing. Yeah. The shit, how you on, what you on with Tierra Marie and Floyd Rutherford can't read? Niggas would have got canceled. Yeah. Hey, movies 50 should be next, though. Movies, like crazy. that's how I'm being, though. Movies, though. Yeah. yeah. Cause you know, like put a rapper in a movie, the whole neighborhood gonna come out and see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that is straight up. That is put a rapper, put the Migos in a movie right now, bro. I, I feel like that's why the hood, the hood sells, <laughs> yeah, though. That's why so many different people, but killer different types of people, got their glasses <laughs> right. and shit. Hey, low key, did State Property make it to the Fuck movie though? I think it did. Yeah, yeah. State Property. It did. did. Killer season didn't though, but that was a classic. That was better than Pay the Four. Right. I ain't Pay the Four one of my favorite. Low key, what's your favorite movie? Period. Why we gotta answer it real quick? Like it's off the record, real quick. What's your favorite movie? I'm gonna ask him. Just period, bro. Period. What's your favorite movie? You don't know.